Hello everybody, my name is Ray. Welcome to the Evangelical Dark Web. Today, we're going to be discussing Kenneth Copeland for perhaps the first time on this channel, and it's because he's done something so transcendently evil and wicked that it has drawn a lot of attention, and he's the lowest hanging fruit there possibly is. Even Joel Osteen has more credibility than Kenneth Copeland, and that they both operate in clown world. So, Kenneth Copeland has butchered the sacrament of communion he has blasphemed it twisted it what he's done here is borderline witchcraft with the L with the ordinance of communion and that is what we're going to be talking about today he has mixed his own blood in with the cup of communion and this is evil this is just straight evil. So we're going to talk about this. But first, I want to let you know Evangelical Dark Web is a Christian news gathering and commentary ministry. You can support us over at evangelicaldarkweb.org slash join. We necessarily talk more about, you know, more threats, higher level threats to the church, not the lowest hanging fruit like Kenneth Copeland, because that's just too easy, generally speaking. But this is our Patreon-like system that you can support our ministry. We don't promise any blessings or of salvation in return. This is just something you can help us out with and you get some perks as a result of that. So this is a clip that's made the rounds. Protestia provided a larger clip that has more context to it and more context actually does make it worse than the small TikTok reel that Kenneth Copeland put out. So here's the full clip. The Lord directed me to demonstrate some things I need a zip that little Ziploc bag. Do we have that? So that the next time you take communion, this will be in your mind's eye. So this is your cup. Yes, sir. This is my cup. So That's the cutting of the covenant. And then I would do the same. Jesus said, take this cup. This is my blood of the new covenant. Now we've mixed our blood. Which is his and which is mine. And we could never separate. You them. can't separate that. Now our blood has symbolically has been mixed here. Now at the communion table, yes, sir. He said, "This is my blood of the new covenant. All of you drink all of it." Judas had to drink that, yes, sir. So, and I want you to be this way every time you take communion, and you ought to take it a lot, a lot. Now his blood mm. is in my body. Yes, sir. It's in there. His blood is mixed with my blood. Can you see it? We've been, Western people don't know anything about covenant. Eastern people do. So that's a very bizarre clip. And some things I noticed is that I didn't see any actual blood. Like I didn't see the blood drip. I didn't see the blood on his hand. Like usually you squeeze it out, it should appear at the bottom of your hand, I would imagine, because that's how gravity works. Even though, you know, water is kind of something that's water based might be more prone to defy gravity in some certain ways. But nonetheless, uh, I didn't see the actual blood. He didn't actually drink all of it like he kind of said he was going to. It, it was a bizarre clip. Also worth noting that they're using cran grape juice instead of wine, which I think wine is proper. Um, I understand a lot of churches do grape juice, but cran grape juice, I mean, tis the season for cranberries, but no, no, inappropriate. So a lot of things messed up about that clip, but it kind of also seems like a LARP to some degree. He's trying to seem more intense, but I didn't see any blood in that. But nonetheless, he is blaspheming 
this whole process, we're not supposed to add our own blood into communion. That's ritualistic and I would argue pagan. And that's nowhere to be found in the Christian faith. Uh, not how we should be doing it. Uh, Catholics believe in transubstantiation. Uh, I believe Lutherans have like a consubstantiation view. Uh, I prefer the Genevan view. And then some people have more of a memorial view. None of us do that. None of us believe in adding our own blood to the sacrament. That's just, that's wicked. So that's the latest update on Clown World featuring Kenneth Copeland. And uh, maybe it's one of those things where if I had to see it, you have to see it too. So have a blessed day. We will catch you on the next one.